Who? What? Who? Greetings, family. This is Bomani Tahemba, and I'm here with my wonderful sister, and she's going to introduce herself to you, and she has lots of wonderful things to share about the same things that you know we do here, tours and investment in Ghana, traveling and all those wonderful things. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself to our people. Greetings to everyone. My name is Sonika Arrington, the Positivity Queen. And I am so honored and humbled to be here and in this moment sharing it with you. I just want to tell you thank you. That's why I got my instinct going. Absolutely, sister. Uh, and uh, our sister here just recruited me to be her technical expert. <laughs> Expertise. You know, that's what we do here at Bomani Technology. Uh, and I was just telling her everything that she's trying to do is simple. And she said it to you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's like... Uh, this is not my genius, but smiling, being cute, interviewing people and connecting, <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> but, um, you know, I had the instinct going, you know, to mellow Positive up, vibes. Vibes, positive vibe, because I'm the positivity queen, so let me put this down, since we are live and in that break. But, um, I, myself, I've been going to um, Ghana and traveling throughout Africa for the past uh, maybe 7, 11 years. Excellent. And um, I usually just go to Cape Coast. And the last time I went, I actually got to experience Accra, the city, and it just opened my whole mind up to all the investments and the things that's happening within the city um, today in Ghana. And me being an African American woman, how I found out that I can invest in land and property and a community in the motherland. And then it led me to meeting you, Mr. Bamani, who is actually creating a community dedicated in the honor of Marcus Garvey, the beginning of everything. Like, I'm just, just hell is brother. If you don't know, like, I'm so honored. <laughs> like, yo, like... This is an answer to so many African American people. I'm speaking from an African American pr pr perspective that, mm -hmm. like, whoa. So perfect. So now let me talk about Garvey Town since you, you bring up Garvey Town. Yes. Um, first of all, family, uh, Garvey Town, the project itself is uh, it's owned by the Garvey Town Company. And the head person of that project is Garadina Gamba. And all this information I'm talking to you about, uh, you can find on our website, Africa for the africans.org and when you're on our website you can look to the main menu to the left and you'll see Garvey Town information you click on it and you'll see this an array of information mm -hmm. uh, so you can process that and also along on the, the main menu you'll see a list of uh, tours to uh, Ghana in May and December and in South Africa in November of this year and uh, in so, October yes and in October <laughs> as, uh, as we uh, just started talking about uh, we're, we're working on a nice organized tour for our sister. She has a lot of people that want to go to, to Ghana. And sometimes, you know, the oddest thing is, is just the experience. And that's you know, something I've been able to build over the last uh, 20 you know, years. And, you know, when you look and you see the map behind family, that's a list of uh, 37 countries and, you know, across our six continents. Uh, so from, you know, the age of 20 to now 41 that's been traveling the globe and doing this kind of business. Uh, and it's something that comes, like, you know, natural and, it's, and easy. Uh, putting together itineraries, arranging schedule and accommodation. So uh, our sister got the good connection. A lot of times what we're looking for is people who, or, who have the people. Because I always tell people it's hard to get one person <laughs> to come to the motherland, which you must just try to get a bus load. So, you could, so the work is a lot easier when you just share a lot of information and people reach out to you. So I know he's just telling me because my I'm always thinking big outrageous. I'm like, I have to bring 108 people, and he's like, 108, sis. That's two I, bus loads. It's two bus loads. It's hard to get one bus load of people, and I'm like, no more negativity. We we doing this this year. You you're doing this. You are coming to Ghana this year. This is the year of the return. You are coming, and guess who's taking you? Because you rocking with the positivity cream, and I only rock with greatness and positivity. And we all going with you, Mr. <laughs> Bumani Tahimba. Right? Absolutely. And so that, so that connection right there. So family, all those tours that we got going to Ghana, May, October, and December, it and all links you to Garvey Town. No, I said and, May, uh -huh. October, and oh, December. Oh, I didn't hear that. I those are the, sure. those <laughs> are the three connections. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, so 
I explained to our sister the schedule in October may be where I could do all of Accra and then I'll work it out. I got you know, I got a nice staff of folks out there in Ghana. I have more people there in Ghana than I have here in America. Uh, so you can see where most of the work has been put into. But Garby Town, mm -hmm. it is a special project um, that uh, the Garby Town company acquired the land around 2004. Mm -hmm. And you know, you know it is, uh, it's one of those situations where you acquire the land, you have the game plan, you build a site plan, you do the surveying. You put all the things that you have to put in place, you put your money where your mouth is and everything, and then now you're reaching out to the people to come. Mm -hmm. So it was one of those situations where, and I've seen several other projects come out like this where the things that need to be put in place ahead of time is put in place, but people not necessarily want to come because they're looking for you to have at least four or five houses right. built and things like that. So um, when I connected with our brother, um, and I told him that you know, in this 21st century of where we're doing things, I'm going to just work on the aspect that will bring the energy of the people mm -hmm. to where we basically put all the documentation about Garvey Town online, the site map, certain information, put the full process of what we have set up, even let people know about the tours that, we'll, that we have going there, and you know, show the videos and all the full details, just so people can just get a flow and clarity, and then we can then now go through some questions, now that people have looked over the information. Uh, but to give this a nice overview of Garvey Town uh, family, once you're on the site and you see these these articles, the first one you'll see is the tour overview. Now Garvey Town is in a district called Gomoa. It's in the yeah. central region of uh, you know Ghana, and the central region is right outside of uh, right outside of uh, the Great Accra region. Uh, so once you're in the central region, uh, it's actually about one and a half to two hours if you're leaving from Accra and you're heading towards Cape Coast, uh, Elmina. And if you're, heading from, if you're heading from Cape Coast, Elmina towards Accra, it's the same thing, one and a half, two hours. Mm -hmm. So it puts you right in the middle of two of the most popular cities that uh, we deal with, uh, where we start our tours in, uh, in Accra, and then we end them in uh, Cape Coast, mm -hmm. but we always drive towards Accra. So it's in a very convenient location, and also it's about, um, I want to say a good seven, maybe no more than 10 miles uh, to the beach, uh, roughly about a 15 minute drive. So it's in a good, nice uh, location, um, and the goal of the, the community is 300 plots. Um, every individual is allowed one plot. Uh, so it's to build... Can I ask you one question? Sure, go ahead. Plots? So if I wanted to purchase, even though I only, I'm allowed to only purchase one plot, can I have someone else purchase another plot in honor and we combine our two plots together? Or does it matter if... It really matters if you can only have one for you, one for this person. How are you guys? Oh yes, uh, like a husband and wife can get a plot each, and mm -hmm. they can connect and use that as a bigger land. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the ways. Uh, but we don't want people to come to buy up like six to ten plots. I know some people want a lot more land, mm -hmm. but the situation of that is to to make sure you have more families there than just you know than just several people own all of the land, mm -hmm. you know, which is the problem we have in society. Uh, so. And it's set for a commune, so you're trying to keep things as level and organized as possible. Uh, and you want certain people thinking certain ways. Yeah, it's, it's more for your pan-African, um, pro-African, uh, pro-brothers and sisters that's for nation building. Uh, um, and it's for people who have skills they want to contribute. Um, for to, example, what type of skills? Uh, can example, like um, I'm a technical expertise along business administration. That's what I do for them for trade. So I'll be training our younger students those aspects of those ways as far as business and uh, business development and technology. And then we have friends that are engineer, mathematician and, and other trades. They'll teach those relative subjects. We try to build a community to where we as a people take control of our destiny we want to where we are, you know, we are planting all the food that we need in a three segment, segment of agriculture around the property. And you know, family, if you can see, the, you can see a little, a nice uh, glimpse of the map in the back. But when you go, you know, but naturally, like you know, once you're on our website, you'll see a few site maps also uh, that you can click click on. And the site maps are labeled out. Uh, so um, three agriculture slash farmland section. That's that's to have all the, the different type of food and vegetables and things you can grow mm -hmm. uh, to feed yourself. Uh, you also have a commercial district. The goal of that is you want to add a little manufacturing, uh, different general business, and certain sequence of all of the, the things that need to you know, maintain a community. Across uh, from there, you have, you know, it's called a civil and public area where you have a fire department, you have a, a hospital, 
uh, or a medical center. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a security staff. You know, your your police or your folks that's looking looking out for the people in the community. So more so security. Uh, you have that aspect. Um, a part where it shows public utilities. What we want to do is we want to make that more of a microgrid power station, where we set up a few different uh, solar farms and set up things like wind turbines on the property. You guys are really to where you can provide your own power and then. The goal is to get uh, one of the main uh, companies that provide network to put a, put a tower on the property so we can have better phone and uh, internet connectivity. Uh, so all those are things that, you, that you're mapping out to make sure that people don't miss a beat. But also it's... Coming from home. Coming from, from home, America. but at the same time too, I tell people they want a well-developed community already built so they can see their community. There's plenty of them in Ghana and they range from anywhere from 100,000 mm -hmm. to uh, 250,000. Uh, but if you're looking to build something special, mm -hmm. this is you know, in honor of one of our great Pan-African ancestors, Marcus Garvey, and in doing it in well, one of the greatest Pan-African countries with, with you know, the first president himself, you know, Kwame Nkrumah, you know, mm -hmm. you know, one of our favorite, the, one of our favorite and greatest Pan-Africanists also. So it's a perfect marriage, perfect connection, and Absolutely. then working with the Garvey Town Company, and then being a technology a business person that I've learned how to, the science of doing business in Ghana, like I tell people, it's a different world and you literally have to study the whole segment of things or you lose your mind and you go crazy but I'm having fun, I'm having the best time of my life mm -hmm. and it's just something that's, that's just so natural now. For you too. Oh uh, yeah, natural, I mean as far as reservation then we'll put certain word out that we don't want certain type of people coming on our tours and it does work because we want respectful brothers and sisters who want to make a contribution, who want to be respectful black organization because this is an all-black operation. There's no white person telling you what to do. You know, but you know, we expect people to respect us just like they respect their white masters or white boss. Mm -hmm. Because some of the things that people have done in the past, I, t I explained to them that you wouldn't have done this if this was a white-owned company Absolutely. that's making accommodation and doing things for you. So just respect us just like you respect anybody else. And I'm not telling, you know, and that's all we ask is, you know, and, you know, and our goal is to operate at the highest level of business. I'm here, I tell people, seven days a week, almost just all throughout the day, you know, I do sleep. So people ask, when do you sleep? I do sleep, but I'm available for business because I'm dedicated to the Garvey Town Project and our tours that we have set up to connect more and more people to a true community mm -hmm. and also set things up to where people can now get a nice plot of land for $640 and the $300 administration fee, so it's $940. And they have, you know, other, they have two other but bigger you know sides. I think, and I know you're giving numbers, but because they don't see the value because <laughs> you know why? I think it, it needs to be higher. And well, I'm, I, and, and I'm only not going to set the price. So. Only because, only because, when you you just like you said, if it was somebody white, they want to get the hundred thousand. I'm I I'm, I'm not here for white or anything like that. I love my people. I'm here for right. my people right now. What I'm saying is, for our people, they need to feel like it's. I don't have a problem with spending a thousand dollars for something that I'm investing in. I like to look good, and if you're watching this, you should too. Right. So six hundred and forty dollars—that to me is not enough for. Yeah, six forty plus the three hundred um, administration fee, which that's, covers background check and a few other things, and the, the that's, money that's, that's paid to our that business you office. That's amazing. That you have so low for them. Oh uh, well, uh, Garvey I mean, Town came up with their price, and we came up with an wow. administrative process to help and do things and to cover some of the costs. That way, people have one price. Really, by the time they add both prices, just one price, wow. and giving people a bunch of different prices, and that's to just get the project going. Mm -hmm. You know, because one of the things I explained to our brother that because you know sometimes people, you know, sometimes people look at us the wrong way. You have some people who have projects and they have put their heart and soul into developing this project, but sometimes you need more than yourself and the people who you know. Sometimes you need people like myself who were in that world. You know, just traveling, moving, connecting, networking. And I can deliver, so you know, you know you I saw it as a great opportunity. Bring, you still need to bring in people that's going to make you deliver, but at the same time, you have to earn. Yeah, okay. so our fees, yeah. what we charge is minimal, which is the same as yeah, our, our tour fees, more. but it's fine. I tell people that we do most of the wow. stuff ourselves with our talents and skills, so, wow. we, you know, so we can still make a living from the way we but do business. But I like business how you still, everything. you know, looking out But I'm catering to my, my brothers and sisters that are right. hardcore pan Africanists that may wow. not necessarily have these corporate jobs because wow. you know, some of us like I don't love the corporate world wow. a long time ago and probably make about the same amount of money wow. but it took me a while to work back up to the level what I used to make as an I aircraft technician uh, and that's by us doing many different business and working different uh, you know things but uh, nevertheless uh, you know some people are you know some of the better people that we may need may be more into self-reliance wow. and I they have a small that. business and you know 
and maybe they're in the thirty to forty thousand dollar range, and mm -hmm. they don't want to spend three, four, five thousand dollars for land. Wow. Uh, which some people in Ghana are selling land at price, but land in Ghana is usually about five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. So I tell people stop adding on these ridiculous extra prices because we had this one guy that was in Senior Baraku, uh, and you know he repatriated, and you know he, he just realized that he can just add on a bunch of fees and charge people for America, and people are gonna buy it, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, they're gonna find out they're gonna like. You know what I'm saying? You could have been honest with me and I would have give you the extra tip or something. You know, so I think it's always, people can make wow. better donations, but the reason why everything is m minimal, and we also recommend that people build more of like, you know, smaller homes, two, three bedroom homes versus the big mansions that some people why? want. Why? Why should they have smaller homes when uh, we used to big homes? Well, first of all, most people are coming by themselves. You know, so, and then, you know, and then naturally you, you build a community, so you want people to invest also. You, naturally, we can't tell people what to do. People are going to build whatever they need to build. But we just hear the advice and say, hey, you know, think about investing some money in the business sector. Think about maybe farming. Think about maybe doing certain other aspects of things. Uh, there's an educational section that needs to be built from schools, from, from, you know, from basic all the way to, you know, to high school, to, you know, to college, to you know, technical school. Uh, so you have other aspects of investment. So people can build a home to where they build it and it's ready in a few months. And then they can expand onto that home. But uh, sometimes we make these, uh, and I'm just basing this based on going around Ghana and dealing with projects like uh, Fianca, dealing with uh, Assistant Benue Village. One of the things uh, Assistant Nuna in Benue Village, which is in Techiman in the Brownhofer region, she explained to me that, you know, she understands that a lot of people have that dream and that goal. They want to build something nice and big, their dream home in mm -hmm. Africa. But sometimes when they get ready to build it, they realize that things don't all necessarily work out certain ways and then they have to use that money for something. So they end up having to take a longer time to build the project oh. so then you end up having a community where you it's have a lot half. of unfinished homes mm. so if everybody build more like you know like this right here is a two bedroom one bathroom uh, small house the other one was a three bedroom It'll two bathroom house quicker. it's something where you it's know showing. where two people a husband yeah. and wife and maybe a child could live in or a, a couple person, or a single, single person, person or elder person with someone else and it makes it to where it's you know you can manage building and things like that better uh, so it's a lot of science going to it, but naturally, you know, we do our best as I'm your representation there for Garvey Town. So I do my best to advise you on all the things and let you know that, you know, I got your back all the way because it's something that we need to make work. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not sure to look back and say that you guys never built like an African diaspora community to where you can help brothers and sisters from the African diaspora in case something happened. Every single African nation in the entire world have a representation in America. Well, you Ghanaian, Gambia, because I've been to some of the different celebrations and, you know, as I try to just, you know, connect more and more brothers and sisters. Uh, we do have these associations in Ghana, but we don't have the network that it really needs. When some of our people get into certain situations there that shouldn't be getting there, because some people, they get excited, want to repatriate, they go to Ghana, they go pay for a condo, you know, they rent it out, and they, they say they're going to start this business, do this thing, and things just go wrong. It, it, it's a heartbreaker because... You don't ever want things to go wrong for people who have so much love and energy for Africa. But at the same time, too, you know, I'm gonna tell people, you know, you know, a street guy that's grown up around us, being living in Kingston, Jamaica, and living in Brooklyn, New York, and being around the world and, and seeing things, and just coming ultimately from a developing country and connecting to another one, trying to advise people on how to move, you know, and don't come in there making it seem like you big money, mm -hmm. and you know, because people are like, oh man, it. That's my, that's my paycheck for the next two years. <laughs> and, you know, uh, you know and I move around the world like this. Wherever I go, I just, I look, you know, I, I, just, I just try to blend in. <laughs> and just try to, you know, no chains, no watch many wow, times. You know what? And I remember when I was last in Ghana, I didn't recognize. I was tipping the, the little boys. I gave them like a $50 thing. A $50 oh, you think when you're a baller, you're a baller. It's not he was like, you better stop doing that. You, don't do that that's something they don't get that you know like that's I'm like but it's just 50 you know but that's true and it makes you appreciate like like you know you don't even gotta do that like they they so happy and love you just for the 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 realness that's what I love about being in Africa like you forget sight of like of money like they you just connect with each other it's like a love for a love like I, I get why you your prices you know the way it is. You just yeah, every, you know you you're trying to be also competitive, and I'm a you know small entity. You know sometimes we look a lot bigger than we are. People think I live in Africa because they always see videos. But I tell people I shoot enough videos to upload a different video every day for the next few years. Wow. You just just have that much video content. I'm a person that 
Whenever I go, I, I push my staff to the, the highest limits. <laughs> and so I tell you know, videos, pictures all day long. Mm. You know, and you just come back and upload and share with the world. So it's, it's, you know, it's my secret weapon. I'm always encouraging the rest of my folks that work in the same business. I'm like, yo, where is the videos? You know? Oh. You know, like a friend of mine, they just did this incredible safari in South Africa. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to wait till I get there. Me and my group, we're just going to record everything. <laughs> Even if I got lions chasing me, I'm going to have the camera with me. <laughs> you staying ready. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, you, know, you know, running from lions and running from whatever. No, just joking. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I just, I'm just, ever since I first went to uh, Senegal mm -hmm. in March 2004 and then Egypt in April 2004, it's just an addiction. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, it's like, you know, it's just addicted. You just, it's, Once you get I can't your, see myself yeah. without a camera and this. Yeah, but you get your feet in the soul, you just, de <laughs> you just start deactivating. <laughs> I'm always like, I'm always like, nobody gonna believe us. Ain't nobody gonna believe us in Africa. And as much time as we go, uh, but it's like, it's, it's it keep you in pace to want to do the documentation and want to just really just get more of our people into it. Um, because it has changed a, a process of what I remember being in Jamaica mm. and we were like when we saw the Somali children uh, the, the Somali and the Ethiopian started. children mm -hmm. and you're like it, it just messed you up because you just you know, and, you, and then you come to America and you hear more about it and you know it just it keeps you away from Africa it keeps most of away because that's, that's what kept us away it was just making you think it's just starving kids yeah, there looking it's like been the decrepit with the big it. bellies and the big heads like you don't want to go to Africa because they all starving why the hell would I go there why go back home and ever since I've been going well, it's been, we've been lied to <laughs> and that's what I'm like I tell people don't believe the hype yeah. come experience for yourself Absolutely. and then we, then when we connect with Ghana now we're doing so many incredible things in Ghana because we're connecting people to you know, the locations where majority of our ancestors were stolen from, mm -hmm. you connected people to one of the best pan-African sisters of a lifetime, Sister Amicus uh, mm -hmm. from One Africa. Uh, that's she's here to welcome you in the last it few comes. days, um, you know, and connect with you in, on a special journey. So you know, I just feel like it's just we, we'd have to just make it special and add in Garvey time. That's mm -hmm. kind of cap it off to where now people who just really want to make a move and really want to. Trust a system that's can get them land, make sure they're secure, yes. and a, a, a community where community. where all of us are living, and it's like yes. all of us are eating. It's like you know, what I mean, it's a situation where we're all sharing what we have, and it's to the point where when you live in a society like America or a system or a country or whatever we want to call this place or experiment mm -hmm. is more like what I like to call mm -hmm. it. You know, you just you know, it brings out the worst in you when you know money and things. So in Ghana. The, the level of communal living where mm. we take care of each other, look up each other, yes. where you don't have to be an old folks, end up in one of them old folks home yes. and just die old. By and yourself. And you're there in Ghana, you're an elder, you, you know, yes. you're respected in your yes. community. Uh, people like myself, you know, we connect with you to where you, you we ask you for you guidance. Breathe, and you live. We want you to do your part as yes. you close out to your last years in life. And then being active in Ghana, it will increase your life. I've seen people yeah. going there on their deathbed and then they look rejuvenated like they yeah. just gained about 10 <laughs> to 20 years. As so a matter of fact, when I first, every time I see Amicus, I was like, you're not 70 something she years old. She's getting younger. It's unbelievable. Yeah, she's and she's saying it's, it's the water, time. it's the climate, it's, it's the not food. dealing with the stress of it's the real a rat food. race in America. <laughs> uh, so that's what Garvey Town brings. It brings that energy, but it also brings a system where we're here to support and look out for each other because mm -hmm. We want that to be practiced. Sometimes we just have to build an energy to where it can you know, just trickle down, uh, you know, because I've seen so many people got, go in Ghana, move, repatriate, and it's just, all right, I'm going to get away from these crazy black people in America, and I'm going to go to Ghana, and I'm just going to do my own thing. And that's all fine until they run into something, and then they like, then they come back and complain, well, I ran into some bad stuff in Ghana, and nobody helped me. Well, mm. first of all, you didn't reach out or connect to nobody. You just... Like you said, you wanted to do your own thing and get away from the rest of us. I understand a lot of us are crazy and I'm trying to get away from the crazies too. Mm -hmm. But at the same time too, we got to connect with those of us that, you know, that see a, a vision mm -hmm. of being more communal, being more to where we're putting more of our resources to build in the factories. It's like, it's like I'm tired of this fondness with Asia or Eurasia, you know what I mean? <laughs> I have too many friends I talked. You know, they know I've been pushing Africa for a long time and they keep telling me about them going to France and going to Amsterdam and here and there. Mm -hmm. And then they, they're going to Japan and China to do manufacturing deals and everything. Mm -hmm. And it just, you know, and, and I'll be lying and say, don't frustrate me, but you know, you can't just go off on them. Like, maybe you want sometimes to. you should. So you like, you're trying to see that and you realize that, you know what? Mm -hmm. 
we don't have enough in Africa to present to them, so they make an excuse. So when you know, I made the the, the, the the tour journey as nice as we're going to talk about in another segment, mm -hmm. as nice as possible. And yours is even going to be better because you got our folks staying in these incredible hotels there. <laughs> you know, our sister is truly the queen. She's going to work her deal. You know me. Uh, you know, on the, the other journeys we do, it's all about giving the money on to black owned enterprises. But there's some things that you want to do with some of I the establishment. Well, some of the establishment that we have, it doesn't really have okay. some of the, the venues and the setup that you need. So I'm also explaining to people why we're doing that. Okay. Because people know us, you know, they know and if we have an option to do business with our brothers and sisters, we do. But some situations, just like I explained to them with the airline routes, mm -hmm. and also in certain lodging situations, like I may have to do in Takarati coming up which would be the only maybe non Ghanaian or black owned hotel. But, uh, you know, I'm also reaching out to the rest of our brothers and sisters to, 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 to realize that more of us need to, you know, we have so many different African countries. We need more of us in the different countries, like our sister in and out of Ghana doing business, you know, represent us and then stop sending me messages talking about going here and going there. Mm -hmm. I'm like, if we get Come a duplication here. machine, I'll figure that out. But until then, um, you know, it's Ghana, the black star, right. South Africa, Ghana the other country. Ghana about greatness. <laughs> and, you know, we're working with some other countries out. But I've been to nine countries in Africa, you know. I've been to the Gambia, Senegal, Ghana, Togo, Benin, you know, uh, South Africa, Kenya, Egypt, and Ethiopia. All nine of those countries in the, you know, the last uh, 14 years I've been traveling. And, you know, you have to do what works. You know, Ghana got that Garvey Town community, so it even makes it better where we can work on our investment. Once we get set up more, I still want to do more internal travels and business to Africa, but mm -hmm. I feel like we need to really build something before we start just want to do more exploring and you know, let other people do the exploring. I'm at the point where you know, I tell people there's levels to this game mm -hmm. and you know, we have to continuously lead forth and you know, we're dealing with a situation where we have a great opportunity to build some wonderful things in Ghana and you know, we need as much support and energy on the project. So I'm telling family to go to the website, check out the details. Yeah. You're going to Tell see them the website again. Website Af is africaforafricans.org. And then you'll see on the main menu the Garvey Town uh, community link. Uh, that, Tell uh, them again. I, they didn't get the website. Yeah, you. Go get your pen. Tell yeah, them Yeah, the what you're going to do is uh, you're going to go to the description box, click on it, and you'll see all the links or go to the comment Tell section. The you'll website. see all the, the links you also. Know, sometimes we got to hear it three times. For Africa, <laughs> for the Africans.org. Say it again. That, that's enough. Tell uh, the website. <laughs> they need the website. Don't yeah. you need the website? Yeah, one, one thing about the website, information is fine. It's just one thing we're trying to get people also to do is when they see videos, be you know, open your mind to go down to the description box Absolutely. and see the additional type information. Because some people may say you pronounce certain word and they hear the word and this and that. Mm -hmm. So everything with me is always in the written language. Okay. So even on the website, I'll go through the same thing on the conference call, but I just add that as a reference of the details. So, so family, go down below. the reference is the description box below. and the comment section. And also you can send emails, uh, you know, you can send a message and you know, send your email or just uh, email us and we'll get information oh, out to real you. Real quick, this is my book, my gift to you for this moment. It's, a, it's about travel. The name of it is called Travel Light, Travel Right. And I've been to over 44 countries. I, I so respect you. Thank you for this moment. And copy, copy of your book. You know, you can learn more about traveling. 10 tips in here. Absolutely, family. And what we're going to be doing you is uh, we're going to be talking about more traveling and tours and give you more details on the different things that we do in travel. But yes, family, we definitely want you to reach out in reference to the Garvey Town community. And my sister, didn't you have a few more questions as far as, I know you're still going to, you know, you're still processing, looking over the information and everything. Um, but uh, do you have any more questions about Garvey Town? I'm excited. I'm coming actually to You're Ghana um, on Monday. So I'm going to actually go there and visit the land and uh, check it out for myself. So when so I perfect. come back, we can do part two and I can tell the people what I actually got to see. So perfect. So I'll arrange it with my business partners there and uh, okay. they'll meet with you and uh, take you to the property to meet the owner of the property. And you'll see that right now they're clearing the first block because okay. uh, um, Eight of us from the last group, uh, Ghana, November 2018, uh, you know, got plots. A few more people working on it. So, and then you had two more people from, from somewhere else that purchased plots. So the last plots. time you purchased, so you purchased the plots in November, and now it is March. So when I go in March, I'm going to see what has been. No, you're going to see a clear land. You may see a foundation. That's about it. But uh, you'll see, uh, it's a birth process. Uh, I got on this uh, project in October, and I spent the last few months working on. 
the documentation that you'll see and then the only thing that you won't see is the legal information I have all the legal stuff in an email I can send to everyone you just send an email request uh, so that's uh, no problem uh, but uh, you, you'll see a process of and the main thing is I spend most of the time working on the things because one thing you can't do you can't go too far on a project when okay. the, the legal stuff the clarity of it is not taken care of uh, and you're given a lot of money up front and things like that. That's one of the biggest mistakes a lot of our people have made from African dads with doing business in Ghana. And uh, people will take advantage of that. Uh, you know, so, you know, by me, it's simple for me. I'm, you know, just, I have people there, you know, lots of fit folks, and I always I, I roll deep. You know, so, whenever we're going to see anybody, it's a lot of us show up. I'm not trying to intimidate people. <laughs> but, you know, Keeping it real. <laughs> yeah, I grew up in New York and it was all about, you know, it's, it was all me about too. rolling deep. You know, I grew, up, yeah, I grew up in New York City, it's all about rolling deep because when you roll deep, nobody beef with you, nobody bother you. Mm -hmm. Everybody respect the flow of what you're doing. And we in Africa. <laughs> so even when I was in Amsterdam, sometimes they just, people just seen 30 to 40 of us and right. they like shot because I literally wow. never saw 30 to 40 black people. At one time. At <laughs> one time. That's so, how it was when I was in uh, Thailand. It was like 11 black women. And we were taking pictures of them. They're like taking pictures of us and we're like, oh, we're beautiful. Oh, that's people. wonderful. That is like awesome. 11 black women in Thailand at one time. Like, whoa, the power was awesome. But so I guess you. You don't, you, don't be ro you don't be playing. You be rolling. <laughs> but family, uh, we're definitely going to connect back. Uh, appreciate you uh, listening to the information on Garvey Time. We're going to definitely talk about more travel. Absolutely. And you've been over all over the globe, 44 <laughs> countries. Wow. Yes. Check it out. Cop the button. Go to Seneca360.com. And family, the journey continues.